We all have witnessed the historic launch of Starship just about two weeks ago, though the launch ended in an explosion. Yet SpaceX called it a successful failure as it really made some good developments. Then it came out that the launch had left behind a lot of debris and dust, as well as significant damages underneath the orbital launch mount. Now with all the devastation and destruction done to the launch pad and its surrounding by Super Heavy, SpaceX begins to rebuild and reconstruct the launch site. Hello Earthlings, welcome back to another episode from The Clock Boss. Today we're gonna start with an update on the future of SpaceX's Starship after its dramatic first launch and also to the nearby ground support equipment. Hold on, before you go any further, why don't you smash that like button? And of course subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive that notification first for the next time we upload a new video. Two weeks ago, Bill Nelson, the NASA Administrator, stated at the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology that SpaceX blew a hole in the launch pad, which shows how significant the damages are. But that's not holding back the progression of SpaceX to make their Starship vehicle operational. They're now hoping to have their pad ready to go for the second launch, as soon as June or July. Though it's expected that the launch timeline will depend on a variety of factors, such as the amount of repair work, regulatory approvals, and the readiness of the next Starship prototype to get the pad ready. Cleaning of the huge amount of debris created by the first orbital launch of Starship is a big task for SpaceX. It's already known to you how the violent thrust of Super Heavy Booster's Raptor engines have carved a crater into the ground and smashed debris into the launch tower, nearby tanks, and other ground equipment. But the good news is that SpaceX teams have already started repairs and rebuilding of the pads, as well as preparing for making their pad ready to get the next Starship prototype flying in a matter of months. Regarding the second launch timeline, NASA Chief Nelson stated that SpaceX is still saying that they think it will take at least two months to rebuild the launch pad and concurrently about two months to have their second vehicle ready to launch. NASA gave SpaceX a nearly $3 billion contract back in 2021 to use their rocket to land astronauts on the moon as part of the Artemis program. Therefore, it's expected they'll have close watch on SpaceX's Starship developments. As per NASA, they're really appreciating the success of Starship. The company had stated that not blowing up on the launch pad would be considered a success for the first launch, and it's evident that they've managed that quite well. Though the pad infrastructure still took a hit, as per reports, Musk had shared how much damage the launch pad had suffered. He said all that's left of the concrete lateral support beam is the rebar, according to Musk. The company still has a lot to do with the analysis of the damage. Musk guessed that the force of the engines when they throttled up may have shattered the concrete rather than simply eroding it earlier when 33 engine static fire was carried out. The engines were only at half thrust, so it didn't dig a hole beneath the mount. But during launch, thrust was much more so it's likely to happen. Now as a solution to such a problem, SpaceX is building a massive water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount. But it wasn't ready during the debut launch attempt, and relying on the concrete made it worse. As SpaceX now admits that relying on the concrete was wrongly thought, so we can expect that the water-cooled steel plate is to be used by SpaceX in the second launch of Starship. Other than this debris management and pad repairs, SpaceX will also need to get regulatory approvals for the second launch too. We all know what long way the company had to go to get their launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration. This time for the future second launch of Starship investigation of the first flight will also be added, probably making it time-consuming too. Weeks back on the day of orbital launch, they had said a return to flight of the Starship and Super Heavy vehicle is based on the Federal Aviation Administration, determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. Report says that the Federal Aviation Administration has already initiated an inquiry into the launch of Starship Super Heavy, 
which exploded minutes after it lifted off later. The agency grounded Starship Super Heavy for future launches after reports of raining down of potentially hazardous debris that could have endangered the local environment and wildlife in the nearby region came up. Recently, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service have disclosed that the Starship launch started a three-and-a-half-acre fire on land owned by Texas's Boca Chica State Park, though they didn't find any dead wildlife nearby. They observed that the massive blast of the raptors had flung concrete and metal thousands of feet away and created a cloud of dust and pulverized concrete that fell as far as six and a half miles from the launch site. Sources stated that Super Heavy will be grounded until the Federal Aviation Administration closes the investigation and clears SpaceX to move forward under the license. In order to expand on its first launch earlier last month, SpaceX plans to invest nearly $2 billion in the construction of its Starship rocket this year. According to Elon Musk, by expectation for the next flight would be to reach orbit Musk mentioned during a discussion two weeks ago. Musk said the business does not anticipate needing to raise funding to further support the Starship program and its other endeavors. The outcome was roughly in what I expected, and maybe slightly exceeding my expectations. Musk said regarding the April 20th launch. Within a few months, SpaceX hopes to fly the next mission using its enormous rocket that it has numerous additional prototypes of in various states of assembly. The goal of these missions is just information. Like we don't have any payload or anything. It's just to learn as much as possible, Musk stated. He stated that there is probably an 80% chance that a Starship mission would reach orbit this year. He also believes there is a 100% chance that orbit will be reached within a year. Also, according to Musk, it took the rocket's AFTS, or Autonomous Flight Termination System, which destroys the rocket if it veers off course, about 40 seconds to activate, which SpaceX will need to fix before the subsequent launch attempt. The rocket's ability to maintain its structural integrity throughout the launch, especially through the max key milestone, or the point at which air pressure is at its peak, was its best attribute. The vehicle's structural margins appear to be better than we expected. As we can tell from the vehicle actually doing somersaults towards the end and staying intact, Musk added. When the rocket was launching, Musk claimed the booster turned into a rock tornado on the ground. Musk said that Welt SpaceX hasn't seen any proof that the rock tornado actually caused substantial damage to heat shields or engines. The firm certainly didn't expect to see the concrete of the launch pad destroyed. Musk also observed that the crater left in its aftermath was something the company certainly didn't expect. Musk added further, one of the more plausible explanations is that we may have compressed the sand underneath the concrete to such a degree that the concrete effectively bent and then cracked. Since the rocket's AFT has took way too long to detonate, Musk believes the biggest obstacle to flying again is probably requalification. As for the next prototype, that'll be part of the second orbital flight. One half of that Starship prototype is already near completion, while the other half is in the production pipeline. SpaceX has expanded its star-based facility steadily over the past few years, as per SpaceX CEO Gwen Shotwell. The first orbital flight was also delayed in part as the company was focused on developing the production systems that will build the ship. Report says that parts of nearly 10 upcoming Starship prototypes are in different stages of assembly. Some near completion, well some at the initial stage, said Nelson, putting light into SpaceX's rocket development stated. Now understand that the explosion, that's not a big downer in the way SpaceX does things. They're hardware rich, meaning they've got a lot of those rockets ready to go. And that's their modus operandi. They launch it. If something goes wrong, they figure out what it is, they go back, and they launch it again. This really shows how much SpaceX had made themselves different from other space agencies in terms of speed. Now it's time to wait and watch how quick they can go for the second launch attempt. With their growing experience and research, it's expected that SpaceX's timeline for the upcoming Starship flights will likely evolve and change over time. That about wraps it up for today. 
Are you just as fascinated like me and want to learn more about the exciting discoveries in space exploration, tech innovations, space travel policies, and interstellar breakthroughs on a regular basis? Then give this video a like, smash that subscribe button, and leave gravity behind, and join me as I help foster the next generation of explorers. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.